Welcome back everybody to Synalytics Crypto. My name is Mike. Thank you for being here with me today. I appreciate all of you. I hope you all had a great weekend. I have not made a video since April Fool's Day. My little funny joke with Borat. Uh, some people didn't seem to really get that, but uh, in America we are kind of big on April Fool's. I don't like pranking people, but I did have some fun on my channel. So I hope you guys got a kick out of that. It's, it was all fun and games, you guys. Um, obviously, I was making jokes about a lot of things on there, but uh, anyways, so today I am bringing you a brand new video because I really want to talk about Etherland. I have mentioned it in my uh, Telegram channel, I actually mentioned it last night because I ended up going into this project last night right around the same price it is today, about 25 cents. So if you have not joined the Telegram, you guys, please do. A lot of information gets it's circulated and generated in there first, and everyone there has been really great. It is a channel that is growing, and it is a place where you can find good, solid, safe information about cryptocurrencies, not just from myself, but um, the many active members, members in the Telegram. They do great. They do great research. Um, it's just a good place to be, you guys. So join us. The link is in below. Is below the description. We're having a great time. And if you haven't joined the um, Synalytics Crypto YouTube channel, please do so. Hit the subscribe. Also, do me a favor. The only thing I can ask from you guys is just to give me a thumbs up. It helps get these videos out there, especially videos like this, because these are important. This is a relatively um, small market cap project. It's relatively unknown. A lot of people may have heard of it. Please leave a comment below if you have. I like to respond to the comments. I like to uh, engage with you guys in the comments below because projects like these are, well, you know, let's just be honest. They're risky. A lot of times in cryptocurrency, it's kind of a high risk, high reward situation. That's exactly what I see with Etherland. I am an investor. I did invest last night. I do see this as a high risk but I'd see it as a higher reward payoff, which is why I went into Etherland. I did not make a massive or a huge um, push into this, but I may choose to, based on my own advice and research and what you guys think, do a little bit more because right now it's still the same price I entered at. So I'm not really taking any losses or buying it at a higher price or anything like that. If it drops, I certainly will be doing that. But what is Etherland? This is kind of a big, vast project, you guys. and. Um, that's why I decided to give it its own separate video. I do want to dive into this. Most of what I'm doing is with you guys. I have glanced over the stuff we're about to go over with, but we're basically kind of deep diving um, together on this one. So join me on this and I appreciate it. So Etherland, let's first look at the token and all of the information. So the market cap's got a question mark. We're gonna get to that in a second because it's not hidden. You can find it. It is on their website. The 24 hour low of about 19 cents, 24 hour high, about 27 cents, which was the all time high. Uh, the 24 hour trading volume, only $617,000. That's a very, very small amount of trading volume, but it is a small market cap coin. So from what I understand, the market cap's about 5.1 million. So this is a hidden altcoin gem this officially qualifies as a hidden altcoin gem and we just want to know more about this project before we decide to invest in this project so the circulating supply we'll, we'll get to that in a second as well the um all-time supply is going to be one billion coins that's a lot but that's okay i think there's a reason why there are a lot of coins and there's a reason why the circulating supply is so low which is why the market cap is so low so again these kinds of things factor into the high risk high reward aspect of investing in this particular project we're going to go down here we're going to click on the 90 day chart because i think it's really only been around for about that long maybe a little bit less maybe a little bit more um, so you can see this this coin has not really pumped yet i mean although the all-time low was march 31st and it has almost done a 20x since then. We know how things can move in crypto, especially with a small market cap. It doesn't take a lot of trading volume in either direction to affect this. So again, that also plays um, a factor in the high risk, high reward aspect of this coin. It's only really on Uniswap. It says it's only on Uniswap. It's also on PancakeSwap, according to their website. So speaking of their website, let's just go straight into it, you guys. Let's go straight into Eland Atlas. I actually like this website. Somebody just um, said a few minutes ago in the Telegram chat that they didn't like the website. I don't know what there isn't to like about this. I don't base my investments specifically on whether I like their website or not, or else there's a lot of things that I am invested in that I wouldn't invest in and vice versa. So 
by Digital Land. We all know what's going on with Digital Land. It's it's huge. It's getting bigger. Look at Mana. Look at Decentraland. I mean, if you look at some of the things that are going on with Digital Land, I mean, the whole world's going digital. For God's sakes, you can buy art and, and houses and, and and people, you know, making shots and, and moments in time. It, it's, it's all digital now. So this is a big sector to be in. And what these guys are doing is attacking a lot of things, but they're also doing something new because apparently this has something to do with real world places. So let's read into it. Connecting the Ethereum blockchain ecosystem with the digital items of real world places. Very interesting. Um, let's just scroll down before we get into any of the other stuff. So you can view it on Etherscan. Um, you can see some of the details of the coin holdings and stuff like that. There um, is their address. And what they're saying is it is available on Uniswap and PancakeSwap. I don't use PancakeSwap yet. Uh, I will be, but uh, for right now, I even though the fees are high, I still I'm, I'm a huge fan of Uniswap. It opened my entire trading to a new world and allowed me to be able to do what I do now, which is quit my job and trade um, Bitcoin and altcoins. So uh, I'm a big fan. Spending Ethereum is hard for me to swallow sometimes, but I got lucky. My swap only, it's funny to say that I only got lucky and had to pay $41 in fees, but the way things have been recently, I mean, some of the transactions I've made have been upwards of $100 in ETH, which is which is rough, but this was good. I'm happy with, with um, catching at the right time. So um, obviously there's, you know, trade at your own risk kind of things, which is good. They're, they're letting us know that, you know, these kinds of things can be rug pulls. I am certainly not seeing this project as a rug pull. Um, a lot of people have been... <clears throat> Pretty vocal about um, the fact that there is where where did I say the information? We're gonna get to that in a second. There it is. So the circulating supply, roughly 20 million out of a billion. Very 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 low circulating supply compared to the possibility of there being a million a billion coins. So um, people have been asking questions. They've been kind of trying to dig and find out why is there only 20 million out of a billion but we're going to get into that as well that is certainly and was a red flag for me until i did a little bit more investigating which is why i went into this i feel like they need that circulating supply because they've got a lot of things going on right now it says the price it says the 24-hour value. i'm very very transparent with that kind of stuff that's great 24-hour per chain uh change the percent um obviously based in us dollars uh so e land blockchain use cases Creation of a secure and immutable ERC-20 token on the blockchain, okay, pretty basic, as a means of purchase of unique tokens mirroring world, real world places. I haven't wrapped my mind around that concept yet, but I think we're going to get there as we explore further. As a gameplay and promotion reward for participating in the building of the world metaverse, that's cool. Utility token used as a reward for staking non-fungible tokens. A lot of people are starting to open the door to now you can stake your non-fungible tokens and not just your, your digital assets as far as you know coins, uh, which is cool. I don't quite understand how that's going to work, but I'm also not really deep into the NFT space as a collector yet. I will be someday. Probably the first thing I'll do will be with Omi because it's very user-friendly, um, but I don't know how you would stake a non-fungible token, but Obviously you can, so people are, are growing in that space, which is which is really big. As a means to crowdfund and reward ethical green projects in real estate, okay? As an entry fee uh, for platform users accessing and using the products, great. Identity ELAN tokens, use as a mean of exchange for ERC721 token standard that ensures the NFT content representing real world data is unique reliable and genuine and also that the transfer has been made from the right person with the right token awesome so they're looking out for you because you can obviously make mistakes in cryptocurrency it, it's easy to make mistakes so it's it's nice to know that they're, they're representing the actual transaction and uh, kind of watching what happens in between the transfer the blockchain is immutable thus ensuring the transaction history of digital items they're keeping a track that's great the payment reliability through elan these are erc20 tokens and the data security of the nft token information crowdfund elan atlas is working on a green eco-friendly Look, I like eco-friendly stuff, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Uh, Eland ERC-20 token simplifies the transaction process as a trust in both parties is built upstream so that the remaining focus can be exclusively put on exclusively put on the exchange itself. 
get information so you can get a little bit more information. I do recommend you guys DYOR, absolutely. Don't just trust me, I'm just some guy on the internet. Yes, I've brought some great projects to light, but um, these kinds of things with these particular kinds of projects do come with their own personal Synalytics Crypto warning, DYOR. We are going to dive into this um, website a little bit more than I have done on certain projects, but uh, please, just nobody can do better research than you. Just, just know that. IT development, creating IT and blockchain solutions for real estate based applications. So they're, they're getting into the real estate based application market. That is huge. It's, it's over, it's trillions and trillions, probably hundreds of trillions of dollars worldwide. But um, just the fact that they're getting into that could be huge. I mean, like, again, we're looking at something with a $5 million market cap. It, this has room to grow. If this is a legit project and they're going to meet their, their uh, timelines and all this stuff, this could be huge it really could which is why i took the risk versus reward and i said risk reward and i said risk reward i'm into the reward on this it's okay this could go to zero and you know okay so i made a mistake with my invest my money but the the potential for this to grow is is pretty big Elon Atlas aims to push further in the blockchain technology. Real estate is creating IT investments for the process of adoption. Elon 20 tokens can also be used for many applications such as data, social media, great, or real estate sectors. As an entry fee, participation for using website platforms and applications, or for registering data as a fidelity reward. Wow, a means of purchase for non-fungible tokens on NFT decentralized exchanges. Big stuff interoperable web and mobile applications. So they're doing some, some mobile applications coming. So a token linking three technologies. This is this is where I started to, to kind of like what I'm seeing here. Decentralized finance, we all know DeFi is huge, going to be the future of investment in my personal opinion. Smart contracts, smart contracts, very needed when operating um, on a digital level with tokenization and all these things. Smart contracts are very important. Uh, Non-fungible tokens. So they've got the NFTs, they got the decentralized, they got the smart contracts, I like. Building the next land registry software. Interesting. The future real estate platforms will enable the users to see real estates on digital map and remotely manage them on chain while storing decentralized data. Elon is developing map software representing a digital layer of all the existing and land registry parsables available in the world. So they're, they're, they're trying to do something with, with, they're trying to merge reality and digital world. I'm, I'm not wrapping my head around this yet, but, um, that's why we do these things together, guys, because I'm sure there's somebody in here who knows a lot more about this project than I do. If you do, please join the Telegram. Keep us up to date. Please comment below. Uh, I definitely like exploring these kinds of things with you guys because uh, this 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 seems to be pretty vast. This is a pretty broad spectrum of project. Let's keep going. Agricultural land application. I'm gonna kind of skip over that. Carbon credit reward. I'm gonna skip over that. Initial allocation here. Okay, here here's where there's some of the answers to why. There's only 20 million of 1 billion circulating tokens. So Etherland's got 20%, agricultural land application 15%, initial DEX offering was only 5%, reserve is on 20%, that's good. Team and advisors have 10%, that's pretty standard uh, for projects. The teams and advisors, they deserve to get paid. Um, user rewards reserved. So they're 20%, one fifth of this token is reserved for the user rewards. So they're planning on having this being an interactive space where they're going to reward you for being involved in this project, probably on several different le different levels. So that's good. So they need a, a high token supply in their reserves for these kinds of things. Now, would it be smart for the teams and advisors to come out and just dump their 10% right away and basically destroy the project and ruin the faith? Because that's pretty much almost as, almost as bad as a rug pull. If the teams and advisors, that, that's a huge sign that you need to stay away from that project if you start seeing people come out and dumping just because the token has appreciated in uh, price. That to me is very scammy. I don't think that that is going to be a part of this project. I just don't see the reason for that. They would really destroy any momentum that they have and they're just really getting started. So I'm just not worried about this project becoming a uh, you know what coin. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it the more I read about it. Carbon credit rewards, so they're they're really pushing the narrative of the carbon credits, which which in this world today, you know, is is good. People like that kind of stuff. Um, let's go to DeFi and just see what comes up. The DeFi revolution, decentralized finance is revolutionizing traditional finance. Yes, with staking rewards and collateralized loans, guys. They're just this is going to destroy the legacy system. The legacy system being that of the, the banks and the things that have been around. It, it, all that stuff is outdated. 
I mean, with, with Bitcoin, with the invention of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, now we are essentially, we can be our own banks. Uh, we can send money with, without borders, without limits. Nobody can, can really stop us from doing it. Um, and now we can take our um, investments and we can put them into DeFi. We can earn a huge API for staking, for lending, for borrowing, uh, for just holding our coins and, and letting other platforms lend and borrow our coins. We can get some pretty good ROI. So De DeFi is just get it's so funny last year everyone was saying DeFi is in a bubble DeFi is in a bubble yes things grow and then you know bubbles pop and they recede and then and then they get bigger and bigger i can't classify something as a bubble like nfts like DeFi, when the future is so bright when the the sky is is the limit for these kinds of things i just can't i can see them growing and shrinking and growing and shrinking but DeFi is here to stay crypto is here to stay nfts are changing the game and though there will be pullbacks, though there will be the shrinkage of the quote unquote bubble, I don't see things like DeFi and NFTs disappearing and just completely crashing to the ground and just wrecking everybody who's involved. Um, you definitely have to be savvy with your investments, but DeFi revolutionized things and is going to continue to. So I like this project because it's basically going to be involved in all the things that check all of my boxes. And they're totally going into something I have no idea about tokenizing real land, real places in the world. Like, like I, I'm looking forward to knowing more about this project. I really, really am. I mean, this is just Synalytics Crypto. We're happy about this project. I like it. I like it a lot. I just want to bring it to the surface for you guys to continue to dive into this so that we can talk about it together and grow. This, this could be really big. So DeFi Solutions, they're involved in DeFi Solutions. Eland links to an NFT marketplace. Likewise, Eland tokens will be directly tied to its first user case, the Earth's metaverse marketplace proposing digital items of real world places. Very interesting. Holding Elands necessary to purchase digital real estate. So you gotta hold the token to get involved in this. That's the token, that's the, the value of this token. As it is the ERC-20 required to be able to use on the Earth Metaverse. Just think about the word Earth Metaverse. Think about Decentraland. Think about Mana. Think about what's going on with that. Think about how that's blowing up. And the, the, the use cases for that are just massive. I mean, big names are now pouring into this kind of stuff. Earth Metaverse. Wow. The whole solution. Sounds like it's worth reading. Tangible assets such as gold, real estate, art, gaming cards, unique objects, collectors, items are complicated to move. By creating an NFT token to represent them and by taking ownership data on chain, we can significantly improve both the transactional stage and the trust factor while automizing, automatizing their associated reward. Very nice. Um, more effect more effort, excuse me, can be put into them easing the surrounding procedures, thus improving the overall moving process. So they're, they're involved in the transfer of these digital assets, which is going to be very necessary as NFTs grows. You, you gotta be able to sell them, trade them, lend them, stake them, whatever. To sum up, our solution of digital asset trading, ownership, auditing, and storage is the best alternative to both current physical and digital asset management services. So that's how they're blending, I see. So they're representing physical assets as well as digital assets. Wow, this really could be so big. I am so curious, I feel like I must click that. <laughs> hmm, okay. Whoever you are that said you didn't like this website, I strongly disagree. This is, this is a wonderful website. So, okay, I don't think we're gonna dive too deep in this right now. I'd be doing, I will be doing my own private research on this, but sales are not open on a new series of land IDs. I mean, gosh, this, this, is, this is big. This is whew, almost a little overwhelming, but hey, you know, um, for myself here at Synalytics Crypto, I am a lot bigger on investing in the platforms that are delivering these kinds of things. Sometimes the technology is just way past me, but I'm a cryptocurrency guy. I see a project, the ability for me to invest in that project and let them do what they do and as a project grow and, and gain value is what got me into the cryptocurrency business in the first place. So for me to find something like Eland in a very early stage of development 
is just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, this is this is going to be good, you guys. And, and I hope I'm right. I hope that I'm not bringing something to you guys that is just going to fizzle out or, or, or something that's going to be very disappointing. You know, I, I take very seriously and very responsibly what I bring to the table for you guys, how I present um, the things that I'm finding. It, it's... I'm very attached to the friends that I've made through my YouTube channel and my Telegram, and I really, really appreciate anyone's help that they can give us on projects like this because we all want to see things do well together. And uh, I really hope this is good. I really hope that this is a project that uh, should you choose to invest and not financial advice, should you make the choice to invest, this is something that's going to work well for you and work well for all, for all of us and uh, just bring overall value to the cryptocurrency space. Uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing. We're over $2 trillion for the first time. We're getting ready for a big run in April and March and on through the summer. I think that things are just doing really well, you guys. So it's a good time to be invested. Um, I appreciate all of you guys. Happy trading to you. I would love to see you in the comments below. would love to see you uh, after this video in the Telegram because we are going to be talking about this. Don't just trust me because I'm a cryptocurrency YouTube guy. Research it yourself. Share your information with the good people that follow this channel, the loyal subscribers, and let's grow together and let's find good projects together and let's just work hard to make all of our lives better. So that's where we're at today. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for hanging in there with me. I had a lot of things to do with my family over the weekend and I just uh, enjoyed taking a little bit of time off making um, YouTube videos. I'm very active in Telegram. I do check in every single day and at least try to get my two cents in there at some point. But um, as far as YouTube videos go, uh, I'm gonna be working harder on trying to get stuff to you guys more often. So, uh, in fact, I got a couple things in the works that I'm that I'm working on that you gotta stay tuned in, you gotta be subscribed for, and hit the bell notification so you can get those things first because some of this is going to be time sensitive information that I love to share with you guys. So, what's coming next? Bruce.